Hello students and welcome to this video for Excel chapter four, hands-on exercise number two. And we're gonna get started here. Um, you do need to have this file opened up. And the exercise itself is on 616 in your textbook, 616. You open up this file. We are gonna save it, of course, with a different name. We click File, Save As, Browse, and then you're switching it from for some reason, it went and pulled a different name. Um, it should be you switch it from Excel 04H1, and you just press backspace and switch it to H2. Um, if you did it correctly, if you actually clicked like I did, that's what you need to do. Make sure it's saved to the right spot. If it's saved to the correct folder already, you should be good to go. Otherwise, um, do change that. And then it says, um, we finish saving it there and it says to click normal on our status bar um, but it looks like we are ready to go um, or at least in mine okay it says click in any cell within the transactional data so it looks like the transactional data so pretty much any cell within the table here um, and then we're gonna click on the insert tab and we are choosing table from the tables group now it's going to come up with the information it's going to pull it sees here um, okay there's all this information about transactions so it just uses that um, you also see that this part is checked here my table has headers and we're going to leave that and we're going to click OK and you can see it changes to a table. We've got a style already applied to it, and our but because we chose, excuse me, headers. Uh, I've said that there are headers. It kept that as well. And that says to click cell A5, which is right up here. Transaction no. Step D. It says set the column width to 11 for sales first, sales last, department, pay type, and transaction type fields so I'm going to select these columns here so it looks like sales first is column C and then sales last is column D and I hold down control to be able to select both of those and then we have department which is column F and then we also have pay type which is column H and then we have trans type which is column I so those there, I'm going to choose format, and then I'm going to choose column width to change that, and I'm typing in 11. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to change all those columns for me to 11, which works great. Step E, it says unfreeze the panes, which if you remember, we go to view, and we have our windows group. We click freeze panes, and we choose unfreeze panes like that so when I scroll down it doesn't come along with us then step F it says to save the workbook and now we're on step two where we're gonna rename the table this one's pretty simple here it says step a click the design tab design tab so I'm gonna click in our table um, that way it does actually come up so if you don't see it you got click in the table first then table tools comes up click on design tab it says click the table name box in the properties group so over here properties group and here's the table name box right now it's called table 2 we're gonna type totals inside of the box we're gonna press enter and now we've renamed it very simple there easily breezing through step number two step three we're gonna add and delete fields so fields is talking about the cells it says click any cell containing a value in the operator column so actually I already have it clicked there operator column I'm on cell B10 so click on one of those step B it says click the home tab and it says click the delete arrow and we're going to choose delete table column so you notice we have that different option now normally it's just up here these ones um, we have delete table columns I'm going to click on that and it deleted the table or excuse me the column from our table then step C on the next page it says to set the widths of column E, F, and G. So I select those 
to auto fit. Auto fit. And that is step C. And um, for us to be able to do that, we're going to go to, um, I believe we can actually just right click and choose, oh, nope, it's on there. Let's go to format. Yeah, there we go. Um, I was clicking the wrong spot. Um, we go to format and then um, just set it to auto fit for the column width. There we go. All right. Then step D, it says type down pay and press control and enter. And you know what? Let's do this first. So I'm going to change it out of my um, print preview group. I'm going to go to normal. And it looks like we need to click over here in this cell first. Oh, yeah, I skipped that step. There we go. I was like, we need to move first. Click in cell J5. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better. And we need to type in down underscore pay. And then hold down control and push enter. Remember, by holding down control, it keeps that as the active cell. You'll also notice that because it's right next to the table, it's added it in. Um, we can see um, this style has carried through there. Step E, it says click cell K5 and type ODE. And hold down control and push enter. Same thing, it adds it to our table. Then it says click cell I5 and click Format Painter in the clipboard group. And then select the range J5 and K5 to copy the format. Now let me check this again because um, Let's try this again here. Let's go over to, I think I had to select the wrong one. Let's click on, oh, you know what? I clicked I clicked on L instead of I, that's why. Click on I5, and then click Format Painter, and then we're gonna click and drag it across J5 and K5 to change it. There we go. Um, so it needs to look like this. Um, so not L5, I5. I can tell it's starting to get late. Um, so this is what your table needs to look like for step number three and then moving on to step number four we're going to add some records so it says click cell a78 one way i can do this i'm going to hold down control and push g that's the go to button i'm going to type in a78 and then i'm going to click ok it's going to jump there for me you can see it's down here at the bottom i'm going to scroll down a little bit then i'm going to click the home tab i'm already there great i'm going to click the insert arrow in the cells group so i go over here Cells group, insert arrow, and then I'm going to insert table rows above. Remember, we have that option for table rows. And it says enter the following information or data in the respective fields, so the cells, on the newly created row. So there's a comma showing each different one. I'm going to type it in here. So 2018-068. I push tab, Sebastian. You notice auto fill comes up or auto complete. I push tab. Grunewald. I just type the first couple of letters. It fills it in. Three slash twenty-two slash two thousand eighteen. Then I'm gonna push tab. Bedroom. You notice auto fill. Mattress. Auto fill. Paid in full. Auto fill works there. Standard. Auto fill works there. 3200. Zero, zero. And then I'm going to push enter. So very simple to put that information in. Then it says click cell A114. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to cell A114. And then I click OK. And you see we have that row at the bottom. Now I'm going to put in the same, uh, this information here in the book. So 2018 
hyphen one zero four. I push tab. You'll notice it added it to the table. Ambrose. I push tab. Sardellus. I push tab. Three slash thirty one slash two thousand eighteen. Oh, 18, I push tab, appliances, tab, refrigerator, I push tab, paid, full, tab, standard, tab, and then 1500, and I push enter. And you can see I filled in that information there. It says to save our workbook for step E, and then we're moving on to step number five. So our second to last big step, we're gonna remove duplicate rows. Step A, it says click a cell in the table. So I click on that. Click the design tab up here under table tools. Then it says step B, click remove duplicates in the tools group. So tools group is over here. And I'm gonna click remove duplicates. You can see the symbol for that. A box is gonna come up. We're gonna click select all. And then um, we're going to click, or it says make sure my data has headers, check boxes selected, and then we're going to click OK. We're going to click OK for this message box. It says five duplicate values were found and removed, and of course 104 still remain. And there we go, removed, we removed the duplicates from there. And that completes step five. Step number six on page 620 of your textbook, we're gonna apply a table style. Step A, we click a cell in the table. I already have one selected. I'm gonna click the design tab. So design tab, I'm already on it. I'm gonna click the more in the table styles group. And then it says, um, point to the fourth style on the second row in the light section. So fourth style on the second row in the light section. And it looks like, according to this textbook, we're supposed to select this one, orange table style three medium. I'm going to click on that. Then it says, step D, press Control and Home to go to the top. Select range A1 through C1 up here. So read furniture store A1 through C1. We're going to click the fill color arrow in the font group and select orange accent number two, which is this one here. And then we save the workbook. So this is what it should look like here. We've added those two columns over here. You use Format Painter from I5, um, not from L5 like I accidentally did. And then, of course, you've gotten rid of the duplicate. So I'm going to see and make sure did you actually do that. Um, and of course, you added those other two in. So it should look like this for it. And of course, we haven't touched March Individual yet. And your title up here should be styled like this as well. So, and that's how you complete Excel Chapter 4, hands-on exercise number two.